Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Arlington Board of Selectmen for our meeting on Monday, September 8th, 2014. It is a little past 7.15, and I do call this meeting to order. Um, sorry for the delay. We, um, we're trying out some new technology here in um, the hearing room, and we're going to hope that this goes smoothly. So thank you very much. Um, to start for approval, we um, have a proclamation for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month that I, I will read now before proceeding. Um, whereas the National Institute for Health report, cancer is the leading cause of death by disease among U.S. children between infancy and age 19. And this tragic disease is detected in over 15,000 of our country's young people each and every year. And whereas, on average, five of our nation's children loses his or her battle with cancer every day. And many infants, children, and teens will suffer from long-term effect of comprehensive treatment, including secondary cancers. And whereas, founded by Ben Donnarumma upon the death of his daughter, Sophia, 10 years ago, Sophia's fund is dedicated to helping these children and their families in their battle against pediatric cancer. And whereas, Sophia's fund provides a variety of vital financial support to families battling pediatric cancer throughout Massachusetts and New Hampshire, thereby enhancing the quality of life for these children and their families. And whereas, Sophia's fund also promotes nationwide awareness of pediatric cancer and the need for greater recognition and research for the various forms of pediatric cancer. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the members of the Board of Selectmen, designate September 2014 as, 2014 as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in Arlington. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Seeing none. Three nothing. Thank you, everyone. Um, moving on, we have a request for a vote to extend useful life of certain equipment for upcoming borrowing and a vote to proceed. Uh, our treasurer, Mr. Gilligan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I appreciate your time uh, this evening. Uh, before you is the long-winded vote uh, to extend the life of certain equipment. Uh, those equipment items are listed. In essence, uh, I'm requesting that the board take the vote to extend the life of these individual equipment items to six years. Um, whenever a municipality issues a bond or borrows money, uh, there are several reasons for requesting that certain equipment have their useful life extended. Specifically in this case, um, it is not only because the equipment will last us more than five years, but with the way we're going to be structuring the borrowing, I'm actually uh, implementing an extended coupon such that we will not make our first payment until the next fiscal year, and that will save the town money. But in order to do that, the bonds have to be issued in 1, 5, 10, 15, 20-year increments, and that's from the sale date and therefore this equipment needs to be extended to six years in order to have individual certificates at five-year lengths. Thank you. Mr. Dunn. I uh, entertain a motion. Yes. I uh, move that the maximum useful life of the departmental equipment listed below to be financed with a portion of the proceeds of the bar borrowing authorized by the vote of the town passed May 14, 2014, under Article 30, is hereby determined pursuant to General Laws Chapter 44, Section 79, to be six years. And there's a list that is attached here. Uh, that, and so move. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, any further comments from the board? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank no. you very much. Mr. Chairman, I regret uh, being out of the office on Thursday and Friday and unfortunately had to use the photocopier to give you a copy of a spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
I would, as I usually do, I would have emailed this to the board. Uh, this spreadsheet represents uh, all of the borrowing projects for the town and the upcoming borrowing. Uh, I want to point out just a couple of things to you. We will be borrowing uh, $14,068,705. That includes the approximate, that, that includes the 21 projects under the capital plan, as well as two water and sewer projects and permanently financing the um, architectural plans for the central fire station. You'll see that down at the bottom of the spreadsheet. I want to point out, lest anyone think that there's an arithmetic error, there are two columns that are off by approximately $500,000. That is because whenever I do a borrowing, I speak with the department heads involved, try and find a way to save money. And in this instance, when I made the phone call to the director of public works, he said, glad you called, I can save us some money. He expects to be able to do a half a million dollars worth of work on one of those water and sewer projects internally and therefore um, negate I need to borrow a half a million dollars. That's great. So we'll be, saving, we'll be saving on the borrowing, we'll be saving on the borrowing costs. I also informed uh, uh, the town manager's office through the deputy and the director of public works that in the event that, he, that not $500,000 can exactly be saved, and they need a little extra borrowing, we can certainly do a short-term note at a, at a moment's notice. So the board doesn't need to worry about that at all. My expectation is that we will proceed with the sale in, in October. So I will be coming back to the board once, once we initiate that process. Um, my expectation also is that uh, we will be timing our entry into the bond market, into the borrowing market, uh, in such a timely manner that we will take advantage of any uh, slight advantages in interest rates to the town's advantage. Thank you very much. Um, we need another um, motion. Is there a particular language in this or just No, it's just, it? it's, it's a personal vote that the board takes uh, to confirm the treasurer proceeding. I move, uh, we advise the treasurer to proceed on the uh, items that he's got outlined for us. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. I thank the board very much for its thank time. You. Have a we'll good evening. We'll see you in October. Thanks. Thank you. Very thank, much. You. thank you. Moving on, we have the consent agenda. We have minutes of meeting, uh, August 18th, 2014. We have a request from the Arlington Center for the Arts, 15th annual Arlington Open Studios. Um, the, and their request is for the Art Center to be open on Sunday, October 19th from 12 noon to 5 p.m. We have a request for a waiver of resident-only parking restrictions on Tufts and Foster Streets for Saturday, October 18th and Sunday, October 19th. We have a request for the placement of a sandwich board at the intersection of Mass Ave and Route 60 from Sunday, um, October 12th through Sunday, October 19th. Um, and we, oh sorry. oh, sorry. And we have uh, appointments of new election workers, um, John Flood, Jill Lewis, Mary Scott, Donna Smith, and Barbara Wagner. Move approval subject to all conditions as set forth. We have a motion. Sec uh, second. Um, now, before we uh, take a vote, I will be abstaining from um, A, minutes of the meeting from August 18th, 2014, as I was not at the meeting. Um, but other than that, I, um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Three to nothing vote within abstaining. Thank you. And moving on, we have appointments to the Board of Youth Services, Libby Cole. Can you please come to the microphone, Libby? Thank you very much for being here with us. Um, You're welcome. Can you just uh, tell us a little, bit, a little bit about yourself, please? Sure, so resident of Arlington for the last three years or so. Um, grew up in, in this area in Massachusetts. Moved back here with my husband, who's a teacher. I work for a large public health and education nonprofit doing prevention work for youth and adolescents around the nation, sort of the crux of my professional career. So really excited to have the honor to potentially serve um, in the town on the Board of Youth Services and, and looking forward to that. 
Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate you willing to serve. Um, do we have any questions from the board? I'm delighted. Uh, no question. Just I'm delighted. Thank you very much for volunteering. Uh, I, you've got great experience in your resume, and um, thank you for volunteering it to the town. Thank you. And I just say thank you. Know, I'd echo that and just say th thank you. You know, the Board of Youth Service is one of our highest energy and most important uh, boards. They do a lot of work around, um, you know, supporting the um, Arlington Youth Counseling Center and, and other important initiatives for uh, youth at need. So we really appreciate when good people come forward and, and uh, are willing to serve. Absolutely. <clears throat> Thanks. Is anyone in the audience here to speak on this? Seeing none, um, did we have a motion? Uh, I, I move approval. Second. <laughs> Sorry. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Three nothing. Thank you very much. Thanks. Though. Thank you. Okay. Moving on, another appointment to the Board of Youth Services. Lisa Perula. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I am Lisa Padula. I have resided here in Arlington for over 20 years. I'm a town meeting member. Um, I have been getting involved with the um, Arlington Youth Counseling Center on a somewhat of a volunteer basis. I've actually been doing a little bit of consulting with them, um, helping them with fundraising efforts and helping their um, staff members to kind of look at some initiating some, uh, some long-term strategic plans. Um, that was how I got interested in a board position. I am a professional fundraiser. Um, I work in development for Northeastern University right now. I've been working for the last eight years in development and higher education. So I understand the importance coming from the higher ed side of serving our, our youth um, and getting them prepared uh, for their futures. And that was my interest in serving on this board. Thank you very much. Do we have any questions, comments from the board? Uh, I, I move approval, and uh, I've had the pleasure of working with Lisa on a number of campaigns, and I'm really delighted to see her here help, uh, helping out on the town side as well. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. I'll, I'll second, and I'm sure you heard what I said about this being a high-energy board, so I know you'll fit right in, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Any um, further comment? Seeing none. Um, motion? I made one, yes. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Three nothing. Thank you very much. You. Moving on, we have an appointment to the Human Resources Board. Julie McKenzie. Hi, Julie. Hi. I know you from the gym. Yeah. <laughs> See you there in the morning. <laughs> it's nice to put a face, uh, name with the face. Um, please tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I am a partner at Rubin and Redmond, where I've been um, practicing labor and employment law for probably um, nine years. Um, I work mostly on behalf of um, public agencies, the um, nine state universities across the Commonwealth. Um, and I was interested in this position because um, it seems to dovetail nicely with my professional background and my interest in being involved in the town, although not too involved because, as you can probably tell, my personal life is <laughs> a little busy. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Cool. Great. Thank you very much. Um, any questions, comments from my colleagues? Uh, I've uh, no, I'm just delighted. I'm looking at your resume here, and I, I'm delighted to have this type of experience coming to the, to the, uh, the, the board. And I really, thank you very much, especially knowing that uh, you know life will be so hectic. So, it, it's the same. I mean, I, I you heard me say it earlier, but it, and it doesn't any. It is no less true because I repeat it. The volunteers that we get uh, make the town a much better place because of the work that you do and we do. And we, I really appreciate you coming forward and spending your time like this. Great. I look uh, forward to it. Uh, I move approval. Second. Motion and a second. And um, oh yeah, I'll just say thank you very much. And nice to finally, yeah. finally meet you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're all pretty bleary eyed at 7 a.m. <laughs> yeah. um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So what does it mean that she recognizes you but not you? We go to different, different gyms. gyms. Oh, I thought you guys went to the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. She'd recognize right. me too. not going anywhere. All right. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I thought, ah, never mind. I lose. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Thanks. Three nothing vote. <laughs> um, moving on, license and permits. We have a request for a common victory license for Worry, um, 9A Medford Street. 
please come forward. Hi, uh, good evening. I'm a pastor of a Korean church in Medford. Uh, so she's uh, our church uh, deacon. And uh, I came here for help her, if you may. So, uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. just so nervous. This is the first time. <laughs> Please, yeah, sure, don't be. Yeah. We try not to be too intimidating. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so uh, she took over a restaurant at uh, 9A, uh, Medford Street, mm -hmm. uh, about a month and a half ago. And the uh, health department uh, member, Natasha, came and uh, why don't you renovate everything and uh, Make clean. She, yeah, clean everything and uh, new tile and uh, clean every, you know, every detail. And uh, last week, Natasha came, you know, this is 120%. So mm -hmm. satisfied. <laughs> That's, That's why I'm ready to open a <laughs> Korean fusion restaurant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do we have some questions from the board? I do. So and so, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, so Natasha is... The, yeah. the, from the health department, okay. okay. Yeah. And um, has, Marianne, have we gotten anything in writing from them yet or no? Yes, I have. There were, there were a couple of things that came in later than, he, than when we had put this out. Okay, can you, can they're you, fine with it. Okay. Um, they, they go through the same standard by the final inspection, but um, Natasha actually called on this and said, good to go. Okay, yeah. so. thank you. Great. Thank you. Uh, that was definitely my big question because uh, based on the, on the reading of the, of the, of the packet. Um, and so there's no alcohol license at this time, but you may apply in the future. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and all right, I don't have any other questions. Okay. <clears throat> Seeing none, do we have a motion? Yeah. Um, I move approval subject to all conditions, but specifically just making particularly clear that uh, we do have to get sign off from all the sub departments uh, uh, before the, the issue. But this, so it's approval with uh, those conditions. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'll Thank second you. that. Yeah. It. Thank you. We have a motion to yeah. second. All Thanks. those in favor, yeah, please she, say she aye. She's going to have you know, best the best Korean restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I look forward to it. Yeah. Thank you. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Three nothing. Okay. Good luck. I'll tell you, my brother lived in South Korea for about 15 years, so I'll look forward to having a nice place to bring him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, moving on. Um, so there was a request for a common victual license for um, a new restaurant at 1345 Mass Ave, but they couldn't be here tonight, so we will table that to the uh, next meeting. Yes. Um, <clears throat> moving forward, Citizens Open Forum. Except in unusual circumstances, any matter presented for consideration of the board shall neither be acted upon nor a decision made the night of the presentation in accordance with the policy under which the open forum was established. It should be noted that there is a three minute time limit to present a concern or request. Here for citizens open forum. Please come forward. Good evening. Hello. My name is Clara Gabriel. I'm here to, um, actually the agenda says one parking space, but it's two parking spaces for 35 Wellington do, Street. Do, would you want to wait until we get to that on the agenda? Certainly. Okay. Thank you. Um, we'll be there shortly, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so no one's here for Citizens Open Forum. Uh, traffic rules and orders uh, and other business. Ten, uh, discussion for the Across Lexington program. Um, I don't see Mr. Stevens here. Um, I, I would kind of like to have some his feedback on this or what he is requesting um, in the letter. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I read that there were actually two two section two parts to it. I mean, one, the mm -hmm. first part was was our um, endorsement of of mm -hmm. of the the across Lexington yes. mm -hmm. piece, but the other part was us actually. Initiating a communication with, with Lexington, yeah. which it seemed like a different group in Lexington that was initiating that mm -hmm. around the um, plant removals. I'm happy if you feel more comfortable. I'm happy yeah, waiting for know, the whole thing. I, I well, I, I do support um, this program. I do think that we, um, I'd like his some feedback from. Him. So okay. I, think I think we'll wait till um, Mr. Stevens can attend a meeting to speak on this. He wasn't going to be able to attend, but I thought, I can't see around the corner. I thought so. he said someone else would, but mm. nobody else from? Yeah, no, no one here. Okay. Should, we, right. sorry. should we maybe um, just table it to the end of the meeting just in case somebody? Yeah, that sounds good for now. Um, 
short meeting today. Um, 11, we, have a, we had a discussion on the Selectman's Handbook for, um, from our colleague, Mr. Greeley, but he uh, unfortunately can't be with us, so he's out of town on business. So we will be uh, tabling that until the next meeting as well. Um, now, request. One space on street overnight parking at 35 Wellington Street. Ms. Gabriel. Yes, thank you for bearing with us. Um, it is my understanding that there is a exemption possible for parking on street for people who do not have a driveway in Arlington. Um, it's, I would like to request that for myself as I don't have a, a driveway at all available to me or <laughs> or my boyfriend at, uh, at our house. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Dunn. So I'm reading, so uh, in our packet, we get, like, uh, we get your request and we also get uh, reports from the public safety departments about it. And so, and, and include, like also, and they included, uh, I, I confess I didn't actually drive by your house, but I relied on the photos that are here. And it looks like there is a driveway. There is a driveway that seems to go to 33 Wellington, but not 35 Wellington. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it was told to me when I moved in, the landlord was uh, very clear that the driveway went with the upstairs apartment, which is 33 Wellington and 35 Wellington. Oh, so it's actually, so it nothing. is attached to the building. So the driveway is like part, it's on the property, it's, it's part of the parcel. It's yeah, just, but it's two it's different. Two different addresses. Okay. Is it um, is it a, a condo or is it? Um, it's a it's an apartment. Yeah. Um, not owned. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. So, um, in general, that wouldn't meet the criteria. So we don't we we don't give out a lot of exemptions. Uh, and uh, generally, when, in the times that we do, um, there literally is no driveway. And not only that, there is no place to put a driveway. Like, so if the, someone has a piece of property and there's room to put a driveway and they just haven't chosen to do it, we still don't even give the exemption. So in a lot of ways, your request would fall more under that category and that it's physically possible to have a car there. It's just that, you know, I understand it's your landlord as opposed to you, but I'm, uh, it, I, I guess, uh, so I'm inclined to, vote no unless I am, there's some piece of information that I'm missing or I'm otherwise persuaded by my colleagues. Is there, um, is there anything else that I, you think we should know? There are, there, I mean, the upstairs neighbors do have a car and they park it there. Yeah. Um, there are four, four licensed adults that live on the premises and there is room for one car to park in that driveway without crossing over the sidewalk, which mm -hmm. obviously isn't really going to be yeah. doable. Um, so simply okay. that reason. Um, you know, have you sought out any other uh, potential parking areas? I know um, Officer Ato does note that parking available in the Pond Lane lot or, or potentially even working out a different agreement with your landlord? I mean, I, with the landlord, it, doesn't seem like anything is going to change in terms of that spot. Um, it's always been very clearly the 33 Wellington. Um, the the Pond Lane is um, less than ideal simply because of um, well the 7 a.m. must be out by versus I, I mean I know that a lot of cars with this exemption do park up on Lombard. Um, even parking up there and being allowed to leave it, um, even if I, if I leave town without my car for a weekend, then I'm potentially ticketable. Um, so it's, it's rough. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. No, I um, understand. And the, these are always pretty hard for us. Um, but, you know, where there are potentially some other options, I'm, um, I'm going to stand by Officer Rateau's recommendation. And um, unfortunately, I'm not going to support um, this parking space overnight. And I think I'll, I'll be joining you on that too. Even though these are always very difficult, but it's um, it's very tough. We really do try to get hold a very high standard as far as the extenuating circumstances, and I mean that would be. I mean, the types of things that we often will do is if there's a situation with where there's a 
disability in the home or something like that was really truly extenuating and and it's not reasonable to go to the the offsite lot so one of one of the factors that um <clears throat> keeps us in this place is that the town has taken a, 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 a couple votes on whether or not to permit overnight parking and has emphatically chosen not to. And at that point, uh, at least I, I, without speaking for other members of the board, it becomes uh, when, when granting an exception, you have to really hold yourself to, we, I hold myself to a pretty tight standard because I know that I have to respect the, and I want to respect the will of the voters on that one. Um, so having said that, I will, with sympathy, I'm still, uh, um, move no action on the, on this request. There's a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second. Any further discussion? Um, seeing none. So I'm, I'm sorry, but um, we have motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Three Thank nine. you for your consideration. Thanks. Sorry. Right. Thanks for your time. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties with the. Uh, uh, yeah. I seem to have lost my agenda. Um, do you need a URL or do you? Um, we're just having some technical difficulties here with our um, Novus agenda, so please, again, uh, bear with us. We have a discussion on the board and town manager goals. Manager Chapterlane. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would, I don't know if the town manager would agree, but I would prefer to have the full board here. I don't know, is that? Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll just say what yeah. my intention was tonight okay. was to garner any um, additional feedback after making the updates to then make uh, second round changes for uh, eventual approval on the 22nd. But you're right that we're limited in the ability to gain feedback from five. So uh, I suppose if there is any feedback that any of you would like to give me tonight, uh, I think that's that, that would be fine. Totally. And um, yeah. perhaps um, maybe if Town Manager Shepling did have discussions um, with our colleagues that are not able to be here tonight, um, that might be helpful as well moving forward that. to the next meeting. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Um, so. Any comments, feedback for Adam from the colleagues? Yes, Mr. Um, mine is just in general. I, I didn't even I didn't have any specific change. Uh, I think it's. I, I like the. I like the. Um, I, I like both the structure and I like the way that we've been adapting the structure as each year ch comes around. You know, it's not this, the, the, we don't have a one size fits all planning on this, which is good because mm -hmm. reality intrudes on that type of thing. Um, so I'm I'm happy with it, and I definitely plan on voting to approve it. I just was hope, I just think that it's um, significant enough that I prefer we did it. You know, which and I'm, uh, this discussion is totally appropriate. It's just when we actually vote, I'd rather we were all here. Five five zero works yep. best for goals. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm happy with it too. I mean, I think it accurately reflects um, our discussions for folks who aren't familiar um, with it. We do meet for an entire morning, uh, generally in June. Uh, with the manager and some other staff and, and the board, and we, we spend a lot of time going through um, each of these goals and, and um, kind of using the previous year as a benchmark and, um, and adjusting them as we go along. Um, and so I, I think this reflects uh, what we discussed as far as the manager and, and us uh, very well. I, I know that um, we use the manager's goals um, in his uh, evaluation, um, I guess what we've done is kind of just iterate through towards the next year. We, uh, I wonder if we might want to consider a self-evaluation at some point in the in the spring each year as to how well we did against uh, each each of our goals. But uh, that's that's a broader discussion than, than this document itself. But it's just something I was thinking as I was uh, reading through this that we generally iterate. We. We, we change them up based on what's what's actually happened during the year. 
Yeah. So. And do you mean the iteration is a good thing or a bad it thing? It is a good thing. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. definitely a good thing. It's okay. definitely a good thing. But I don't know if we really sit back and do the exercise of take go, stepping through what we had decided on the, oh. the previous year and saying, how did we do against that? Understanding that an awful lot of it is, is at the end of the day, delegated to the manager. Mm -hmm. So you know, that was just a thought I had this weekend as I was reading through them. But I think this reflects what we, what we discussed very well. Yeah. I am. Um, I do. I like that idea, Joe. I think um, I, I would like to hear maybe what Kevin and Diane had to say about exactly. it as well before we um, exactly. you know, do make any changes to how this works. I, I do think it's important to have all five of us here for feedback. Um, that being said, I, I really like the document Adam put forward. Um, I agree that it accurately um, reflects the conversation we had. And I, I think this is a, that, that's a really important morning for us yes. every year. This, um, this is a pretty big endeavor, and I think it's one of the more important documents you know, that we kind of or working with the town manager put together every year. And I think it really sets us in the right direction. So I, I am pretty proud of it. Um, so I think that, um, that, that's what I have to say on it. And I think that might conclude the discussion for now. All right, so I'll solicit feedback from the uh, remaining two board members and then try to come back on the 22nd with a finalized document for approval. That sounds great. Sounds good to me. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you. Um, moving on, um, this is a discussion um, for Nagaoka Kyo and our sister city relationship. I, uh, I'm sorry that I wasn't at our last meeting. I do understand uh, this did come up briefly. But as um, uh, my colleagues have seen in has been shared um, with others was a letter that um, I believe myself and uh, Selectman Greeley received from Mayor Oda in um, Nagaoka Kyo. And so prior to um, writing a response um, from myself, I'd like to just make sure that I'm on the same page with my colleagues. I think um, it's important. So in in my opinion, I think that um, I, I do like the sister city relationship. I think it is important for us, and I would um, I intend and would like to um, reaffirm our commitment as a town to our relationship, with the understanding that it, it unfortunately does not look like um, any selectman will be able to travel there um, mm -hmm. because the cost is pretty excessive um, right now. But uh, that being said, I, I don't want this to come off that we are, you know, trying to get out of um, this sister city relationship. Um, you know, we, we did just have our 30 year anniversary and, and I think it was a quite a great celebration um, where we commemorated a lot of um, great times that a lot of community members had as well as um, many of our, um, you know, cohorts in Japan have had as well. And I am, um, and I, I am, that is my intention and I, I just kind of wanted the blessing of my colleagues um, that that is the direction that this board um, would like to take at this time. Mr. Uh, Dunn. I completely support the relationship. Uh, I know that there's been a little bit of you know, friction over the last couple of months, and I just chalk so much of it up to the language difficulties. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, like, it, the, it, it's it, that language makes everything harder. And when you, and when you don't speak the same language, mm -hmm. it's very difficult. Uh, and but we should, I think we should absolutely. I, I see no reason not to can proceed. I'm delighted yeah. with it. Thank you. And I, I would just like to add that in a recent letter from Mayor Oda, he. Um, he was very happy with our relationship as well, and he, um, I, go, I took from the letter that his sentiment is the same as what I just explained. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm on the same page with you there. I mean, I think we, we probably want to emphasize maybe to them that, you know, we are volunteers here, and, and mm -hmm. many of the travels from our personal resources, and, and it's just um, that that's what makes it difficult for us to to assemble delegations at certain times I would like it if we if we could thank him for taking a look at the at the school exchange because it looks like he he did take another look at the school exchange and I'd like to express appreciation for that because I, I do think that's a very important component of, of the exchange itself so I, I don't think it would come off as 
as lecturing or whatnot, it would actually we could maybe support him and in, in, in his uh, willingness to, to, to look at that again and and because uh, we appreciate it when those students come every year I, and our students have the opportunity yeah, to go I, I agree that that's a, a great piece of this relationship um, yeah. so uh, w what my intention is is to um, draft up a letter that I hope um, will be before our next meeting that um, we can all endorse fantastic so thank you and Mr. Chair, I did want to note that the members of the uh, Conservation Commission are here. For the Great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, please uh, come forward. We did uh, table this agenda item to the end of the meeting, hoping that this would occur. <laughs> um, so uh, please, uh, Mr. Stevens, uh, across Lexington. I'm not program. Mr. St I'm oh. David White. Mr. White, Commission. I'm sorry. Yeah, for Conservation Commission. Um, Nate Nathaniel couldn't make it tonight. And this is Mike Tabuzinski from the Cross Lexington program. Give your introduction to it about the program. We'll talk about our support of it. Um, yes, thanks for uh, hearing us today. Just give you a very short uh, presentation to make you familiar with this. Um, some materials were set in advance. I hope you had a chance to at least uh, glance at those. Mm -hmm. yep. um, the yep, cross. Got, yeah, just so you know, we we did and we got them here. So, uh, they're uh, yes. Okay, thanks. <laughs> So across Lexington, the acronym stands for Accessing Conservation Land Recreation Areas, Open Space, Schools, and Streets in Lexington. Uh, the goal to develop uh, 40 miles of well-marked routes um, that in Lexington that tra traverse connect conservation land, recreation areas, open space, schools, streets, neighborhoods, um, basically to try to connect the town in a non-motorized way for recreation, exercise, and hopefully a little bit of a cultural mixing. And I um, want to provide uh, residents and visitors because um, basically this concept doesn't end at town borders and there are no checkpoints to get it between Arlington and Lexington <laughs> and people any other town. All the time. <laughs> yeah, people do cross all the time. I'm sure we know all about that. <laughs> um, and we want to provide more, better opportunities for walking, running, uh, cycling, uh, by providing guided paths that uh, provide a pleasant off-street travel uh, means for folks. And last year we rolled out, um, we were lettering these routes like A, B, and C. We rolled out at route A and a route B for a total of about oh, 10 miles of uh, marked routes in Lexington. They're uh, quite successful, well received by the public. And so the project is basically funded. It's a very inexpensive project done mostly the volunteers. Funds are either from CPA money or from some town money, I'm, I'm told, and they provide just for materials. But as of now, we have enough funds to do quite a few additional loops. The ultimate goal will be have many loops with 40 or some odd miles. So um, for a second round of, uh, tr of loops that we'd like to add, we looked in the east part of Lexington, and um, we found two really good locations for loops, and they happen to include some Arlington properties, namely some of the property owned by Arlington around the reservoir and uh, Great Meadows as well. So, you know, basically uh, what we're here today is just to ask permission uh, to mark uh, across routes within those properties owned by Arlington. And we'll just be doing marking. We aren't building anything new. There'll be no new construction or new trails or bridges or anything. Uh, we don't believe we need to go before any other commissions or, or any other uh, bodies to ask for permission for this. And so I think in a nutshell, that's the permission we're asking for today. And the signage will include indica indicating that it's probably owned by the town of Arlington, just to make that clear. Mm -hmm. And also the trail markers will indicate across Lexington in partnership with Arlington. It was a t joint town mm -hmm. effort. Right. Very cool. We give, we give full credit to who owns the land. We, don't, we aren't really trying to put a stake in the ground and claim any <laughs> property that doesn't belong to us. Ownership <laughs> 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 Yes. Um, Carlos. Mr. Dunn. Uh, I move approval. I think it's a neat program. I mean, I, 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 I'm glad that the Great Meadows is used. I mean, I, personally, I only bike through it. I've never actually gotten off my bike to wander around. But maybe if I see a better sign, I will. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, so I, I think it's great. I'm happy to support it. I'll second it. And I'll just say I was very enthusiastic to, to, um, to see this. I'm an avid hiker. And, uh, you know, this, this past summer, my daughter and I took a 
we went 95 miles on the Mid-State Trail out um, in Central Mass, which is a multi-jurisdictional um, trail as well. And having clear wayfinding makes all the difference, and that really is, is what attracts people to, to, to these, these trails. Um, this really gets my wheels turning, and I think about ways in which we could do something similar here in Arlington as well. And I know there has been some talk about the Mill Brook and trying to develop that corridor, corridor and such. So I think, you know, putting, you know, dipping the toe in this way, I could see that it, it may be a catalyst for um, some similar initiatives yeah, here as well to connect up the, the trails because connectivity is what it's, what, it, what it's all about uh, in these initiatives. So I'm very happy to, um, to, um, to endorse this. Um, I want to just confirm with either the manager or council, though, are we the only vote that is that is required to allow this? I know that the Great Meadows comes under the board. Does the reservoir land all come under this this board? The reservoir is under the Conservation Commission. I think that for the purposes of what they're asking for, your endorsement is all that's required. It's sufficient. Okay. Just wanted to. Sounded like that had already been checked, but I just wanted to. Also note, there's an app for this as well. I did note that. Okay. I did note that. Very cool. We may be coming to ask you about it too. Uh, could you tell me actually a little bit about the, the group, the uh, the committee in Lexington that's been working on this, uh, the genesis of it? Y yes, it's the, called the Greenways Corridors Committee. And um, initially it was founded as the West Lexington Greenway Committee. Um, someone um, really decades ago, um, but even before I lived in Lexington, they, there was the inception of creating a a route uh, just to the west of Route 128 yeah. um, that linked together all the open space over there, including things like the power lines and the Burlington Landlock Forest and the um, Cambridge Reservoir land and things like that. And uh, so that project started getting off the ground. It didn't completely get to fruition because we were being too ambitious of trying to create like a Minuteman type bikeway over there. There's too many environmental issues to do that. So we had to scale it back. Um, but then others said, well, why can't this idea really apply to anywhere in town? Sure. So uh, the name of the committee was changed to the Greenways Corridors Committee. So then we started to look at uh, basically connections and right of ways and, and in a sense how we can create a system that, that connects the whole town in a non-motorized fashion. It makes it very pleasant for people to travel. So. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's great. Well, I'm happy to support this. Yeah, no, I think, um, I think this is a great idea as well, and I appreciate you bringing it forward. Um, now, are, are you familiar with the letter that uh, Mr. Stevens sent to us regarding yes. uh, perhaps intergovernmental relations um, with the town of Lexington? Yes. Um, now, would you have any recommendations that you'd like to see us put kind of in with this vote that we're going to take? I, I think the, tr I think the tr path is a great idea, and I think we're all supportive of the path. Um, we have sort of some outstanding issues right in the reservoir as the letter indicates. And the Conservation Commission in Lexington approved some funding for the reservoir aquatic oh, management, but it got stopped higher up in the Lexington hmm. process. So you know, just, I'd like to see better relationships in that regard, maybe gain some support for the water chestnut harvesting from the reservoir. Great, thank you. Mr. Chaplin? Uh, it would be in, in that specific point, uh, if the board um, is interested. My recommendation would be um, to support, as you've stated, your support for the signs and then maybe take a position of uh, interest or support of pursuing financial support from Lexington for water chestnut and other invasive species, harvest, uh, species harvesting, but not tying them together. Uh, I think there's a bit of a history with those conversations in Lexington, and I don't think holding a program such as across Lexington hostage would necessarily be an appropriate action for the board. I agree with you. I just want to make sure I got the letter clear before we. I think there's some of these separate, just have to come up at the same Absolutely. time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe perhaps we'll take two votes. Um, the first, which we have a motion on to support the installation of the signs. Um, we had a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Three nothing votes, so those signs can go up, <laughs> which we are all looking forward to. And uh, do we have a motion uh, regarding our? future, you know, discussions, Mr. Dunn? Um, I move that we um, both, uh, that we write a letter to Lexington um, reminding them of the 
our joint responsibility for the reservoir and inviting their help in the for the uh, funding and uh, we simultaneously ask the town manager to follow up with uh, Lexington's town manager second we have a motion and a second all those in favor please say aye aye, aye. opposed seeing none three nothing vote okay. cool thank you very much for thank coming tonight much. I yes. really appreciate it thank you, thank you. Thank you. Moving on, quick meeting. Uh, correspondence received. Um, we have a uh, letter from the Attorney General's Office um, regarding the approval of 2014 town meeting bylaw amendments. Um, and that is all of the correspondence received. Move receipt. <coughs> Move receipt. Second. Mr. Chaplain. I, I would just like to comment that I believe the acceptance of this letter officially marks the end of town council's first town meeting season. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should congratulate him. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks, Mr. Yeah. The first of many. That's right. Uh, While we're on that agenda item, though, could I ask a, a, a question? My little, my little pet project, the Poet Laureate. Does this mean that we can now advertise to... That means we can now advertise to fill the selection committee, right? Um, I don't know if that requires a motion or not, because those, those, but we should probably write and write to the count, the appointing authorities, and let them know that it's, it's clear. Yeah, they they can uh, make their appointments. I don't know if we should do that in the form of a motion to send I, a letter. Is there or a process just for that already? Those? So we developed a process for the for the busking permits. Hmm. But I don't believe that we codified a process from my recollection. I don't recall. Well, the bylaw just said that the, the selection, it specified who the selection committee was right. and that they would actually set up the nomination process and bring it forward to Did us. Did we specify so a chair? We didn't, and that's a problem. Okay. Yeah. Did we, and we specify, but we do have a selectman on that board, correct? No. The body makes a recommendation to the board. A designee right. of, the, of the town manager is on there, though. Okay. Interesting point. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like it, the town manager to? Uh, so could take a could lead, we request? Could we vote to request that the town manager just notify appointing authorities that that this is clear and and convene the first? Yeah, you can do that. You or your designee convene the first meeting of 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 that um, committee. Great. Yep. Excellent. Sounds good to me. So I'll move that. Okay. Great. So we had a uh, move receipt. We had a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Three nothing vote. New business. Mrs. Sullivan. Well, just a reminder that we have town night this Friday night. Um, fireworks will be around 8, dusk. We don't have an exact time, so people should come 15 minutes earlier <laughs> than that. So anywhere from 7.30 on, please attend for the fireworks. A reminder to the selectmen that we begin town day on Saturday the 13th at 9.30. And we do have a selectman's welcome. And um, that's it. It's supposed to be good weather for Saturday. Fingers crossed. Thank goodness. Thank you. Doug. No new business. Adam. I have a few things. Um, first, a recent announcement that with the hard work of the MAPC, MassDOT has adopted a Complete Streets grant program, uh, which would enable any community that adopts a Complete Streets policy to have access to grant funding for implementation of Complete Streets type projects. Mm. Uh, so um, if mm. there's no objection from the board, I'd like to ask TAC to put together a working group to come up with a Complete Streets policy to come back for the board's consideration to get us in that pipeline. Um, me and Mike Rademacher and Laura Wiener have been talking about it. We do it now anyways in the absence of a policy, so I think codifying it <clears throat> would be a very good idea. Uh, there's already a few communities locally that have adopted policies, so there's a good framework in place for us to uh, copy from. So again, barring any objections, I'd like to um, move forward Sounds with like that. an excellent idea to me. That's great. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, Eve Margolis, the management analyst, uh, has officially started as of today, so I will bring her to the meeting on the 22nd to introduce her to the board. We gave her a whirlwind tour of Arlington today, so uh, we're drinking from a fire hose for the first couple of weeks. <laughs> um, Moonlight at the Res, the beach party to uh, raise money for uh, Parks and Recreation was Saturday night. Uh, I got there a little later in the night and they had recovered from the uh, thunderstorms that rolled in. So I just have to say, I have to tip my cap to Joe Conley, the Director of Recreation, and all the members of the Parks and Rec Commission that 
uh, put all of the efforts that they put into putting it together and then everything that they did between 6.30 and 7 o'clock when people started to arrive to salvage the party. Uh, by the time I arrived there, everybody was having a good time and it was, uh, it was a really nice event, so kudos That's to them. Awesome. Uh, I think the chairman might mention this, but I want to mention the, uh, the great work that the Friends of the Council on Aging did yet again uh, in putting on their 5K on Sunday. Uh, they really lucked out in the weather department. It was a great turnout, uh, so that was a very nice event, uh, as it has been for the past couple of years. Uh, and finally, uh, we're using Nova's agenda tonight. Adam Kurowski and I continue to collaborate with the Selectman's Office. We're going to move forward with going from the, uh, the demo version to the uh, official version and um, making hopefully what will become final changes into integration to the website and try to you know, streamline all of the, uh, the kinks. So we'll be, uh, we'll be you know, in contact with that as the meetings go forward. So I, uh, I think that's all I have. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Selectman, then. Um, election tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Marianne's so busy. Marianne's so getting for a town day. And she's, what she's neglected to mention is that also the Selectman's Office is preparing for uh, tomorrow is primary, of course, in the state. So if you are a member of one of the, quote, designated major parties in Massachusetts or unenrolled, you can show up tomorrow and vote in your primary for your candidates of choice, and I encourage you to do that. Uh, my second item is just uh, an, a comment, a note to the, my colleagues that this morning Adam convened a meeting of, uh, for lack of a better word, it's kind of like a Minuteman working group. It's a set of people who keep talking about Minuteman. I don't have anything specific to report, but I just wanted to let you know that we continue to gnaw at it, and uh, it is a, it continues to be an intractable problem. But uh, I just didn't want you to think that we were forgetting about it. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have much. Um, I happened to be down at um, Spy Pond on Saturday. The Friends of Spy Pond were running one of their uh, cleanup efforts, um, and uh, they really have done a fantastic job. The uh, Arlington Belmont crew team was down there helping. Um, they also uh, honored a couple of people, uh, one gentleman whose name I didn't write down, who has spent so much time pulling the weeds on the cobblestones down there. I thought they were brand new cobblestones until they they explained it. So take a look at it. It really looks beautiful down there. Um, they also unveiled um, a piece of uh, sculpture that was uh, has been temporarily donated to the town by uh, local artist Kevin Duffy. That was an ACC um, uh, funded uh, initiative and it, it was really great. They were having the kids um, <clears throat> compete to name it. And I was able to congratulate uh, some of the young people down there um, who had helped uh, our animal control officer rescue an actual swan. Um, and you know, as you all know, they received proclamations from, from the board. And so I was able to personally congratulate the, uh, the young people. And it was really, um, really extraordinary. So uh, our thanks go out to all of these volunteers in the community who, you know, all across the community, I think we could all tell more stories from just the last couple of weeks. Um, and I want to invite all my board members and everybody else to um, at noon over by Uncle Sam Plaza will be the official ribbon cutting of the visitor information center that a lot of people, Public Works and ATED and a lot of folks have been working on. It'll actually be, the ribbon will be cut. There'll be some school groups there singing, a short little ceremony. Uh, that'll be at noon uh, amidst all the other festivities at Town Day. Um, and uh, speaking of which, I just want to thank the office. You know, we've been a little short-staffed because of some um, illnesses the last uh, couple of months, and I know that Marianne and Fran and the rest have been working really um, overtime to keep things going and have a great town day and everything. And so thank you very much for, for all of that. Yeah. Thank you. I am. Um so I did have a list, but they, it was chipped away at. Um, <laughs> so um, one for, yes, uh, as Adam mentioned, yesterday was the Friends of Arlington, uh, Friends of Arlington's Council on Aging 5K. And um, Adam was a bit modest because he did place in the top 20, I believe, and really was like a bolt of lightning out of the starting line <laughs> to, uh, to the finish. Um, and that really is an awesome event, and um, they do a great job with it. And um, I, it's something I really enjoy every year. Um, vote tomorrow, town day. Um, the one other thing is that um, 
I was speaking with some colleagues before and telling them the good news that um, one of our, an Arlington resident um, who is also a town meeting member and also happens to be my cousin, um, Mike Baker, is getting an award for the work he does um, in the Jamaica Plain community and he sets up you know, quite a few events and is really, really integrated with um, all the residents over there. And so I'm very happy for him and extremely proud of all the work he does. Um, that being said, I have no further new business, so I'll move to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Three nothing vote. Thank you very much, everyone.